you guys yeah. just go give us a, like where it's going down and uh, kind of run down the organizer and all that? Yes, the organizer is kind of just like us. We decided it'd be fun to have a match. And uh, I think we'll do it at my club. We'll do it at the clubhouse. Got a bunch of tables there. Got some good refs there. And basically, Gabriel called me out, wanted to have a match. And I, I think it'd be an easy win. So so why not? Oh. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so the thing is, Paul, I I got to You got to understand. So I'm I'm go, I'm challenging him at his own house, right? So I've got to mm-hmm. keep a certain level of respect because, in my head, I envision myself, you know, meeting Jody, his mom, and I don't want to say, hey, I'm the guy that's been talking a whole lot of shit about your kid online, right? So I want to keep it respectful before the match, and that's why, you know, Auden, I say this to you respectfully. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. I'm ready for it. <laughs> now I know that you're taking the match because you think it's an easy win, right? But you know, at the same time, I, I give a lot of respect to you because your trajectory is very, very high. However, I do think that when I see the polls that you've been doing the past five, six months, it seems like you're arm wrestling high schoolers, right? It seems like the people that you arm wrestle at competitions aren't at the pro level. That we have here in the United States. Now, I'm not gonna say that you know I'm I'm a super great pro arm wrestler, no, but stylistically, I think it's a very, very interesting match because I see strengths that you have, strengths that I have. For example, the speed. No matter how much you work the speed, I believe you're always gonna have slow twitch muscle fibers, right? Now, in terms of length, that is one thing that concerns me a little bit. You're obviously taller, you have bigger leverage. And of course, your pronation, your riser is something that you've been working on since you started arm wrestling. But I do also know that if at any point it goes inside, I don't think I'll feel very much. And on top of that, I also believe that if I do lose my wrist, especially if it's in the second or third round, I don't see that as being too much of a problem, given the fact that I've got a bit more experience on ready goes. Okay. Whoa. I'm telling you right now, you don't have more experience than Ready Goes. There's there's no way that's not possible. I I've believe so. You, you do a lot more, more slow pulling. You do a lot more slow pulling. How many tournaments do you think I've pulled in? How many? Well, since you were born, probably hundreds. Yeah, exactly. Well, there we go. Done it since I was like two. But like I said, you're arm wrestling kids. Okay. At that point, I was arm wrestling kids. But I'm telling you, there is a significant difference between my, me five months ago when with the video you're talking about when I'm pulling the high school kids where mm-hmm. I, I literally dusted everybody other than my buddy who was like 50 pounds heavier than me who also arm wrestles and to kill everybody. But I'm telling you, the level of me now, not comparable, not even comparable. You see me just murder the East versus West grand champion. You see me just kill him. Ooh. Grandmaster's champion, 240. Killed him. Who, who was that? Uh, his name's Sean Culligan. He won the North American East vs. West Grandmasters. I just and saw I that. Killed him. Killed so you beat up on that. kids, and now you beat up on old men. Okay. Oh, you know it. You know I do. Have you guys so played before? Have you guys hey, practiced hey, or gripped hey, up Gabe. before? How old is Me, Alan not, Fisher? Not Gabe. Never. Okay. Alan Fisher is quite old. I'm not going to lie, but he is number one in the state of California to this point. So he I mean, is. He is. Himself, yeah. you know? a lot of people he say that practicing with this with him is unfair because of how old he is. It's not my fault I was born when I was born. And at the same time, anybody that's ever pulled down. Alan's a beast. Alan's he a just beast pulled him. Yeah. Today, I just got the chance to pull him. Yo, I want to know, which what is your highest win from both of you guys? Like, what would be your, your best win? Hmm. Are you talking tournament or super match? Anything, man. Anybody that you pin that you want to make mention that would be like, oh, shit, all right. Hmm. I haven't pulled that many people of significance. I, I I beat Chris Ham, but but he's not at the same level he used to be. I I I won the nationals, but there wasn't anybody like insane in my class that you guys probably know about. That's that's about it at this level. And then Sean, of course, but that's yeah. Very- what, what's your weight at today? Because the only thing that I see, man, is I I think you have like a, a big size difference on on Gabriel. Is that correct? Uh, it's, it's not that significant. I, I have a hard time gaining weight, but, but right now, like I'll, I'll be, like I'm doing a tiny, tiny little, like very light water cut to be 185. But like, I'm, I'm not like, sometimes I'll get inflated when I'm like bulking really, really hard, but it's like, I'm just food and, and not good shape. Like realistically, I'm, I'm a, I'm a 185er. 
Yeah, but I, I remember, bro, we were at Vitacell and I was with your mom, Jody, and you you sent a picture and you hit 200 pounds. I was so, like, oh, so, shit, boy, is sizing up for real over there. That that was because I was like 194, go, about to go to bed, and I'm like, I'm hitting 200 tonight. And just like chugged water and ate a bunch of rice and just like held my pee and just like hit 200. Just hit 200. <laughs> oh, and I, like, man. It all. That's how you bulk right there. I, I oh, can't yeah. relate that's, to that a lot. So I want to know, Gabrielle, now knowing that this guy could walk around at 200 pounds, what is your plan to, uh, you know, I mean, you're not going to be able to overpower him, I don't think. Is is it speed the key here? No. Well, I am going to overpower him because okay. if I take my hand, is, I, see think, I think the biggest challenge is like Auden is showing going to be where my hand's at. I, I strongly believe be here. if at any point during the match, you know, any kind of inside happens, I think I'm just going to go straight through him. I don't think inside is going to be much of a challenge. Um, my plan, well, I'm not going to reveal all my plan, right? But my plan is pretty much to demolish him, right? And if it goes to endurance, I'm going to have issues because my endurance is nowhere near as good as his. But I also know that if I'm able to hold in a good position where I have some kind of bite, that is going to be a war, a total war. And I'm ready and I'm preparing for that. And yeah, my my uh, my big plan is to really go in and try to get as much as I can from the setup. Like I expect Auden to do as well. We're going to fight very hard and we were talking about it. We want loose refereeing, right? We don't really want to be called out on all these dumb fouls. At the same time, I want to make sure that I don't see Auden like this all the way under the table, right? Trying to make sure he doesn't get pinned. No, no, no. But um, no, I think it's going to be an amazing match. Stylistically, it's it's really interesting because it's a top roller versus a hooker, right? And um, yeah, I expect it to be a really fun. And we're doing both arms too, right and left. So oh, yeah. my left, I'm not sure where my left's at. I know my left is is really quick too, and it's got a great great top roll. But um, you know, I think yeah, we're yeah, what we're weight are you going to come in at, bro? What weight? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I um. I was a bit sick last week, but uh, I think that's not going to matter at all. I think I'm going to come in at around. I'd like to say 180. I'd like to say 180. If I could, I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you do like a serious bulk, bro. I think you need uh, some extra weight would help you at this match for sure. It's it's weird because I do feel a bit stronger, but I also when I do gain weight, say when I get because I could get to 195 if I wanted to, I could get to 195 and show because you should do it. You should I've do it. I've walked around 190, 195 this past year just from meeting like a pig in college, you know, and that's my fault. But I also feel a bit slower at that weight class, and I feel a little out of touch on the ready goals. Whereas when I'm around 175, 180, not only do I feel extremely fast, but I feel strong too. So. I think I'll stay around this way, maybe bulk up a little bit. I'm taking some creatine right now to help with the bulk. We'll see. I'm not too worried about what I come in at. What's the date, and is it going to be live streamed also? It's uh, December sure 2nd. It mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sure we'll live stream it. I'm sure we'll also record it as well. But um, yeah. we're planning to film footage on the side as well because I'll be there for about a day and a half, and you know I want to do chest mm-hmm. challenge. We, we're talking about actually a cold plunge in oh, yeah. Ottawa River. I'm not sure where we're going to do it. I think that sounds fun. Good. Sounds yeah. like that'll be a fun weekend there for sure. Oh, Yo, yeah, Dan too. the Nightmare is saying in the chat, he says, uh, Gabrielle, I'll get some data this weekend for you. So I think Dan's going up to Canada. Is there some event going down this weekend? Yeah, it's going to open. Gonna be? It'll open. That's a big one. That's yeah. what big one. So who's this? Who's this I'm pulling? His name oh, is Dan you? the Nightmare Schwartz. Dan the Nightmare Sports. He he's I think he's below me though. I don't think he's my weight class. Uh yeah, I think he's uh Dan. What what, what weight class are you pull? He's a one sixty five or sixty five or or yeah. somewhere around one seventy six maybe. Dan, put in what, what weight class you'll be at, and uh, where are you at, Orange? So you'll be at the one eighty one eighty one eighty five one eighty five class. Yeah, the classes are a bit weird on the open, but it's like one eighty five, and I think there's a one sixty five as well, maybe one sixty. But is yeah. this like one some, of the, some the, of the biggest guys were? We're events talking about in the, the area event. during the year, the Ottawa Open is this like a pretty big event? Huge. This this is like one of the biggest events in Canada. It's oh, okay. it's like everybody comes to it. Last awesome. year had like over five hundred competitors. It was like stupid. Wow. Like every so class of like four. You could have a big class with competitors. like ten plus potentially even in one. Oh, no, 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 like 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 forty and up. Like Holy the one one eighty fives had like forty seven guys. I think that would be a oh, lot wow. of matches. Yeah. No, it, it, it ran until like 
five in the morning. They have to do it over wow. two days now. It's too long. It's too much. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, the nightmare just said he'll be pulling the 165.